Hardware setup is used for editing the properties of a configured plate and camera or adding a new device. Enter the settings panel from the main window by clicking the settings button and select hardware. Under devices, a list of all configured devices is shown. You can add a new device, edit an existing device, or delete a device from the base. A new plate can be created by clicking on the Add Device button. Select DAQ System and click Confirm. Enter the name of the device. To add a force plate, click Add Device Element. Select Force Plate under Devices and click Next. Select the number of plates and click Next. Choose your plate type from the list and enter a name and the plate serial number. Entering the name will help you identify it in case you are using more than one plate. When you select a plate type, all settings for this plate type are already entered. In the next steps, plate dimensions, sensitivities, range. Compare these values with the values from the calibration sheet shipped with your force plate. Modify them if necessary. Select the channels on the DAQ system to which the plate is connected. If you have selected two plates at the start, the same procedure will follow for the second plate. Do not use the same name for both plates. The force plate is now configured. In the next steps, the camera has to be configured. Click the Add Device Element button and select Camera from the Devices drop-down menu. Select the number of cameras. Enter the name. Entering the name will help you identify the camera easily in case you are using more than one camera. Select the camera side based on the subject view direction by clicking on the camera. The correctness of this step is important for the correct display of the force vector. Select the jumbo packet size that applies to your Ethernet configuration. If you have two cameras, follow the same procedure as with the first camera. Do not use the same name for both cameras. When you are finished with adding plates and cameras, click Next. Follow the instructions on the screen to set the plate or plates orientation. Here, you can check the force plate signal's response, check the plate orientation, and change the orientation if necessary. After finishing the review, click Next to continue. Place the cameras as well as possible at an angle of 90 degrees to the plates. Do this by aligning the bottom edge of the plate to the bottom edge of the image. Adjust the camera focus and aperture. To use the vector overlay, you have to calibrate the plate position first. Click Calibrate. Select two diagonally opposite corners of the force plate. If you have two plates, start with the left plate under the left foot. To enable accurate vector origin, select COP signals, COPX and COPY, in the acquisition settings 
in the Settings panel. If COP signals are not acquired, the origin of the vector will be in the center of each force plate. Click Save to save the device settings. After configuring the force plate and camera, you can start with the tests.